reason why this won't work, first and foremost, getting your fingers to here is gonna be fine. But to get your fingers, go a little harder, Anthony, like hard with it. I'm not gonna get my fingers in front of my neck right here, be able to slide them in. If this, especially if this is made out of metal and he's really pulling hard, that's not gonna work. But even if I did the way which I would recommend, which is coming in here, so, uh, go hard again, Anthony, here. Now I'm plucking and I'm rotating my butt. Now I'm, I'm able to do it fairly well, right? So say I got to here, but the rest of this, first and foremost is unnecessary and I'll show why in a little bit but to get your seatbelt and to get the seatbelt in Anthony's being nice back here making it a little easier for me to get to get the seatbelt and not go fast too fast so that this gets stuck right which is the whole purpose of a seatbelt and to get it in and get enough of the feed the belt through so I can get my knee it's not gonna happen especially under stress which you will be when someone is trying to kill you these fine motor skills are just not gonna work in, in a realistic situation. What you need to do is get your hand, if you pull again, one hand up here, and then get the other hand over here. Keep pulling Anthony hard, and Anthony is really strong. He competes in weightlifting. Go, Anthony, hard, 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 hard. Once I have two hands here, and it's still uncomfortable, but you can hear I can still speak, now I can start rotating my body. That's what I'm gonna look to do. Forget the seatbelt, putting it through and get your knee through. In theory, it works great. In reality, it's not gonna happen. Tag a loved one.